Hi everybody, I'm recording this video on the 17th of October 2024 and if you didn't know already, but yesterday Bohemian, Bohemia Interactive had a big concert to celebrate their 25th anniversary in uh, the Czech Republic where they had an orchestra and everything like that. And at some point, I think it was near the end, it flashed up on a big screen that Armour 4 was coming in 2027, which kind of blew my mind. <laughs> blew my mind quite a bit so i'd like to just share some thoughts and maybe you can share your thoughts back with me about what this means if anything so first thing we've got to say is we've got to take this with a pinch of salt because you know 2027 seems like an awful long way away um gaming projects like any massive project any massive well software project as well uh dates can get longer and sometimes it gets shorter i guess um, it could have been a mistake, but let, let's say it is 2027. Let's say Armour 4 is coming in 2027. What does that mean for Armour? <laughs> like Armour 3. What does it mean for Armour Forger? And obviously very close to my heart, what does this mean for uh, DayZ or DayZ 2? Um, so what you're seeing in the background here is one of my favourite game modes actually at the moment. This is Armour 3's World War 2 Spearhead DLC with the Combat Patrol. Um, single player game mode used with the SOG AI mod which is really cool it's nice and simple it doesn't take very long to play um, and it gives you some single player nice armor combat in World War 2 which I think is, is fantastic so let's let's start off thinking about what this means for armor 3 so armor 3 if I'm if I'm not right came out in 2013 so we're still sort of two years away from armor 4 so for armor three so armor three is getting a bit long in the tooth so what what this will mean is there will be more creator dlc for armor three there has to be something there has to be some content because obviously the player numbers have been going down and despite the fact that we have armor forger which i will talk about in a minute you know armor three is the main platform because it has all the all the modding support and lots of assets but obviously it's on a different engine to armor forger and presumably um well and armor four and and Daisy. So I'm a little bit worried because I think lots of modders who put their personal time and resources into modding for Armour 3 will be like, wait a minute, so the new Armour 4 is going to be, you know, two years away. This engine is really old now. And they can look at Armour Reforger and they look at Squad and they can look at different, more modern engines and go, to be honest, I'd rather be working with that. So, so in one way, I remember talking about this previously and saying that I, the way that I thought it would work is Behemoth Interactive going forward would, ha would have a number of platforms. You know, you would have the Armour platform, so you, they would continue with Armour 3 simply because of, there's so much content out there for it. You would have Armour Reforger as com almost like a beta test bed for the new engine, and then you would have Armour 4, which would have the single player campaign, would have scenario showcases, and uh, lots of maps and then you'd have DLC that would come in and kind of plug in to um, Armour 4. Um, but you know that's that's an awful long way away so I, c I can't help but think that this isn't a great move really for Armour as a whole the fact that Armour 4 is so long away away um, and I mean it is good in a way for Armour 3 because it means Armour 3's lifespan has to be extended but you know it is showing it's showing it's uh, showing its age. So hmm. I mean I, I don't particularly mind because I really enjoy playing Armour Three. I would really like for them to do some sort of engine update where it runs better on machines because it's always ran terrible, hasn't it? Um, but you know I guess you know they wouldn't want to break any backwards compatibility. So that's a bit odd. So then we move on to like Armour Reforger, and you say okay, so Armour Reforger is presumably running on the same engine. That Armour 4 will be running on. And Armour Reforger recently went to 1.0. And I, I can't be the only person who thought, okay, so when Reforger goes to 1.0, they'll have ironed out most of the bugs in the engine. They'll want to be sort of creating new maps or porting up the older maps and porting in this extra mission structures for modding and things like that. But it must mean that when Armour Reforger goes 1.0, Armour 4 can't be that far away, you know. But this is. <laughs> showing that it really really is so this means i would have thought for armor of forger 
the armor forger now is going to be getting more updates um, so as they bring in updates that will be live in armor 4 mostly i would have thought to do with modding and the engine and scenario building and mission building that sort of stuff and different vehicles like tanks um, these will be ported into armor forger which is kind of good for armor forger but the problem with armor forger is it's kind of always had this it, 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 it's had this bad taste in the mouth for lots of people including myself i mean i love it now and it's great but the fact that when it came out it was so broken broken and we had to pay for it as well so it felt like you were paying to be a, <laughs> a beta tester for bohemia interactive that it never really took off i think in the way that they wanted it to um especially on console as well and it's only recently now they've they've sorted out for example the gamepad controls on console to become an industry standard um but it's you know it doesn't have a single player campaign single player missions are quite difficult to make um and um you know the the main game mode in it is incredibly complex um and i know lots of people i've seen lots of people on twitter who mod for armor 3 saying look you know they don't really want to start modding for reforger yet um they're kind of waiting for armor 4. So I think the big challenge that Bohemia Interactive have now then really is to convince armor 3 modders who are waiting for armor 4 to say look mod for armor reforger we're bringing in, bringing in all these tools that you need to be able to make prairie fires to be able to make spearheads to be able to make single player campaigns and multiplayer campaigns and Mike Force and anti stasi and all this sort of stuff. We're bringing them in so anything you make for reforger will be compatible for armor 4 and that could be quite exciting then because it would mean say you had something like anti-stasi so they can complete the anti-stasi mod just for working on everon the main map in armor of forger hopefully that would then mean when armor 4 comes out they just port the new map and new assets and they're going to have these big community mods that are incredibly successful and incredibly important for the success of armor be working straight away maybe so so kind of that that's the challenge i think persuading people that armor of forger is a good enough stopgap and worth putting their time in and convincing people that the work they put in for armor <coughs> reforger won't be thrown out of the window or need a lot of reworking when armor 4 comes out so i don't know my overall thoughts for this day is it's a long way off you know i think most of us were expecting 2025 maybe late 25 or, or early 26 but say 2027 gosh i don't even know if we're playing video games in 2027 <laughs> so there we go so what does this mean for daisy well so huh so my timeline in my head was always the idea that you'd have daisy as it is now on the infusion the kind of um, old infusion engine you had to have armor reforger armor reforger gets um, sorts out the new infusion engine when when that's sorted out they then release they all then go all hands to the pumps on on armor 4 armor 4 gets released and then up daisy 2.0 or the version of daisy that gets released on the new infusion engine would come out after armor 4 but that would mean like 2028 that's like four four years ago four years away so that can either mean they're going to port Daisy to Enfusion before that. Or they're going to carry on working with the existing Enfusion engine, the old Enfusion engine, and bringing new stuff in. I mean, it may be why we saw the new Sakal Frostline map, because maybe the guys at BM Behemoth Attractive and Girls said, look, Armour 4, our big cash cow, you know, is, is three years away. You know, we're not going to get to it till 2027. We need something that people are willing to spend their money on. And so we're going to invest this time in Sakal for Daisy because Daisy is a big cash cow for, for Bohemian Interactive. And it kind of pays for, for <laughs> Armour 4, I guess, the development of it. So maybe that's what's going to happen. Um, which makes me a little bit sad because, again, what I felt with Daisy was that you'd have daisy on the existing infusion engine which would run on old consoles and lower powered pcs very well you know playstation 4s xbox ones lower powered pcs um and then we would have a cutoff point maybe now with zikal and say there you go that's daisy 1.0 finished 
It's, we've got all these lovely vanilla maps. You've got all these mods as well. And now we're going to move on to Infusion Engine, where we can do. You guys can do even more. We can bring, for example, we can have all the survival mechanics of Daisy, but now we can bring in proper mission planning and AI. Not not zombie AI, but soldier AI. So imagine how Daisy, you know, Daisy with proper AI uh, enemies would be really cool, wouldn't it? That they could mod it, that you could mod in, um, and maybe that way. But I don't know. That's kind of kind of in the air. So the way I see it now is Daisy is going to carry on as it is with them just working with the existing Infusion Engine. I can't see them bringing out Daisy 2.0 on the new Infusion Engine before Armor 4, because Armor 4 is really Daisy uh, Bohemian Interactive's baby. And I would have thought all of the resource, well, most of the resources of being interactive will be getting, will be going into getting Armor 4 working. Um, and then when, when that's working, they go, right, the Infusion Engineers, come over to Daisy, and we can get Daisy working. So there we go. What do you think, though? <laughs> I always think they would have been better off not announcing it <laughs> rather than saying it was 2027. But what do I know? I mean, you know, I'm just guessing. I'm just shooting the breeze here what do you think about 2027 for armor 4 what does it mean for armor as a whole armor 3 and armor 4 and armor 4 and what does it mean for daisy put your comments below thank you very much for watching and of course i'll see you all again soon